it. You scrawled on this video to do it. Do you believe in a fairy tale ending? This is so cute. A man with no jaw was able to find true love with a woman that is so beautiful. This is something that you don't see every day because persons wouldn't go in a relationship knowing that a man doesn't have a jaw. But with true love, anything is possible. Check out the video. The title says, I have no jaw but still found true love. Love, don't judge. That is something amazing. Let's watch it. This is Joseph. He fell in love with Venia. Joseph has a rare condition whereby he was born without a jaw or a chin, which left Venia originally having doubts. When we were friends, um, people always question our friendship. And She is so beautiful. I cannot lie. She is beautiful. Oh, wow. And you could imagine all of her friends and possibly family telling her not to marry this or not even marry, but just say not going in a relationship with this fella because he has no jaw. But she still decides to do it. You know, she has a big heart. Oh, my goodness. And um, if we were more than friends and I will always tell them, no, 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 we're just friends because like I, I was embarrassed. The couple are now happily married. I didn't see his face anymore. I just saw his, his spirit, his personality. But not everyone believes that this marriage is real. She can't kiss him, or she must be cheating on him. We are faking marriage for attention. Today we're doing pancakes. Um, oh, they're married. And pancakes will make you fat, so try not to do too many. So, uh, it's so finished and I blend it up. I'm gonna make me some eggs. She makes my pancakes really good. <laughs> hey, my name Joseph. This is my wonderful Empress Fania, and I was born without a jaw. Me and my husband Joe, we've been together for two years. When I first met Joe at work, um, I seen him walk into the building, and it was early in the morning. And when I saw Joseph, I was thinking to myself, am I really seeing this? Because like I said, it was early and I'm like, am I really seeing what I'm seeing? And I didn't want to talk to him because I felt like I knew I was curious, but I didn't want to be rude and ask him what happened. Cause I was just having all these assumptions of what happened to him. And so finally one day um, he just, you know, he mentioned it with somebody else. And then that's when I found out he was born without a jaw. I was born with the condition of autofacial. That is when the person is born without a jaw or a chin. With that condition comes things like my hearing lost and the ability to can't smell as good as normal people would smell. Growing up like I am, it was a hit and miss because I don't expect everyone to accept me, but I got all kinds of responses. Responses such as people running from me because they are scared or they would scream or cry. But on the flip side, I do have people who love me and they do not see this condition. I realized I had feeling for her on the second day I seen her after me helping her out. She came to work and when she turned the corner and seen me, she had a smile on her face that I was like that's the most beautiful smile I ever seen. Then when I walked past her station, she signed the word hi to me. I was teaching her sign language a little, but the way she did it made me feel some kind of way. I have never dated anyone with a disability before. Um, Joe is the first person I've met with a disability. Oh my goodness. I have goodness. never dated anyone with a disability before. <sighs> she is the best. Wow. I don't know what to say. This is so amazing. This sounds like a fairy tale story. <laughs> I cannot believe it. This is love. Oh wow, I didn't even know this was possible. You know, people like her, oh, they need everything in the world. Wow. Disability. When we were friends, people always questioned our friendship and if we were more than friends and I will always tell them, no, 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 we're just friends because like I, I was embarrassed, I was ashamed, but eventually, you know, getting to know Joseph uh, time after time, I looked over that and um, 
I didn't see his face anymore. I just saw his, his spirit, his personality. So the way me and Joe communicate is through his phone. He used the text-to-speech app and also to with sign language. He taught me alphabets, so I know from A to Z the alphabets. I gotta learn patience with Joe because he has to use his talk-to-speech and I gotta wait on his response. Joe is very independent. He doesn't need my help with anything. The only thing I would do for Joe is like help lend his food up uh, for him. And um, sometimes when he's tired, you know, I'll give him, you know, his feeding tube. But everything else, he's independent with it. We got married June 26, 2020. And we didn't tell anybody. We just eloped. We, we went to a courthouse in Indiana and we were just signing papers, trying to get ready for it. We wasn't planning on getting married then and there, but the lady at the courthouse, she was like, hey, do you guys want to get married today? We can make it happen today. And I was like, sure. <laughs> and so we was, I wasn't even dressed. Our family wasn't there. And it just, it just felt all wrong, but it felt right at the same time. And I, I do think I'm glad that she, she said it was right and wrong. It could be right in the sense that she she went with her heart and uh, her mind as well because I think if she brought a family, her family would have tried to talk her out of it, you know. And I do think that's why she said that. That's my opinion. The assumptions that people make are kind of nerve-wracking, but we get things like she can't kiss him or she must be cheating on him. Other things consist of personal matters such as sex, and we are faking marriage for attention. It's a lot which my wife will probably mention too. So when me and Joe go out together, it's basically just stares. Um, people pull out their phones sometimes, um, recording or taking pictures. Um, but they never say anything. That's the, the thing about it. I never hear anybody saying any rude comments. Just staring. But I see it as clear as day. I get that a lot. Yes, I know I look different and most people in this world have not ever seen anyone like me. But rather than to act out of pocket or ignorant, just ask me what happened or even ask my wife. So my mom, when she first met my husband, Joe, she was not pleased because she didn't like the fact that we didn't have a wedding. Hold up, hold up, her mom is funny. Tell him. It's probably running a whole family. <laughs> she didn't know. When I first saw Joe, I was taken back by his physical handicap. Um, Non-judgmental, but just wanted to know what happened. It was kind of surprising. I've been valuable, probably have to look after him. So I didn't understand. It took me a while. As I got to know him, he kept coming around. Um, he's a remarkable man. He does things that, you know, normal men don't do. He's very, um, he's a hard worker for one. He's attentive to her. He cares about her, he loves her, and she loves him. And he brings out some good qualities in her. I'm so happy. The main thing I wanted for him in the world was to have someone next to him that understands him and gets him. And so he was all love when he told me. I'm so excited. I'm still a little brother, but I um, mean, till this day, Joseph is still helping me with life, with everything, and I'm learning every day, every day. What I learned about love, that love has no face, it has no eyes, it has just the power of God behind it. If love is really there, oh, if wow. love is really there you will adapt to whomever you are with and it won't be a fight to accept them for who they are. That's what I learned about love when I am with Vania. Well, what I want people to know about being in a relationship with someone who has a disability is that you have to be patient with them uh, and give them some time and look at their heart. Like, don't, don't look at their physical appearance, whatever the disability may be. Don't take it as, uh, oh, this is going to drain me or this is going to make me tired. Just look at it as you're, um, you're helping someone and when you help someone become better in life, then it, it, it transfers over to you, yourself. I want people to understand whether they are disabled or not. Stop looking at the physical because you just may be missing your blessings. What? This is amazing. 
This is truly amazing. We have two wow. Kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, they ended off perfectly by just saying, love, don't judge. And that is correct. I wish these mod couples wonderful success in their marriage and nothing but the best. Oh my goodness. This is touching. Mm. This is amazing. You guys out there, if you have any stories about this or know anybody in a similar situation, please comment down below your story and I'll be gladly be able to look at it. This is amazing. And before you get to know somebody, do not judge them. I would, I would always suggest to know somebody before you make a mental judgment because it goes beyond just a parent most of the time. So just See who they are as a person and you can be able to know. Don't leave just yet. I have more amazing video. Click here for more. I will not stop. I want the guap. I'ma keep rising until I get high. I like the sun. I fall from dawn. Cause I've been told y'all niggas I'm the one.